All right, ladies and gentlemen, this video is about Devin Jaffo and how to edit in his style. I have all the resources that I use in this video in the description. I probably say it enough in the video as it is already, but I thought I'd just mention it now. So if you scroll down, you'll see uh, a box. You won't see a box, you'll see a link and you'll click on the link and then you'll get the Google Drive with all the resources on. So that's how you get all that for this video. So it's probably best to follow along. So probably download it first uh, and then follow along whilst editing your video and watching a YouTube video. So yeah, enjoy. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to edit like him exactly. I have all the resources that he uses. This is, you can literally edit exactly like him to an extent. Maybe not exactly like him, but like 95% like him. I'm going to show you a few videos that I've done for this one client I have. All the resources, all the resources are going to be in the description. This is a few videos that I've done for him. Want to edit videos like me? Here's my three-step process. One, once all trimmed clips are together, we add subtitles for everything I say and have cool animations for words with emphasis. Two, people are visual learners. And because 80% of people don't watch videos with volume, we need to include visuals that can tell a story on its own. Three, now we do all the extra stuff. Make sure to zoom in and out for pattern interruption and include a nice beat that can fit the vibe of the video. If you want your videos to be edited like mine, click the link in my bio. So yeah, boys and girls, <clears throat> Basically, I'm going to give you all the resources to edit like that. I have more videos I'll show you in a minute. But I have, I'm have. i going to give you all the resources. All the resources are going to be in the description below, obviously, because the description is not above, it's below. So basically, I'm going to show you the visuals that I add in. I'm not going to show you all the text that I just did, but this is what the text just looks like. Entertaining part in the beginning and give them context throughout the story. If you boys have any questions, boys and girls have any questions throughout the whole video, just let me know. You can comment below or you can message me on Instagram. If I'm going to be completely honest, I think I'm one of the better Devin Jaffo type editors for this person. Exactly. I'm going to, not going to try to leak who this person is, but it's a client. So I'd rather no one go steal my client, to be honest. So I would appreciate it if no one did that. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to do a few visuals. And after I do the visuals, I'm going to show you what I did and how I didn't. So yeah, if you have any questions, comment below, like I said, or just message me on Instagram. Okay, so I actually ended my recording, but um, because I meant to press play again, because I finished this little bit here. So I'm gonna show you what I done from the beginning. Do not storytell in your videos in a linear way. Instead, use the Tarantino method of storytelling. This is when you give the most entertaining part in the beginning and give them context throughout the story. Since the hook is- Okay, so how I did that. So first, you're probably wondering why have I got his face on a gorilla and why have I got Kylie Jenner's face on a penguin? I don't know, but I can show you how I did it. Um, so if we go here, oh, have we found that? Oh, anyway, so we have Kylie Jenner and we have a penguin. I've just stuck my face over it. That's literally all I've done. Same with this book at the start of the video. And then I did the same with face and yeah, you, 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 you get the point pretty much. So yeah, that's how I did this little, uh, this little scene here. But what this is, I'll show you how I actually done the, uh, effects, I guess. So here, you see how the main camera goes blurry? You give them most... So how I've done that is just with keyframes with Gaussian blur. For some reason, camera blur isn't on Mac for some reason. So that just blurs it, and then I blur it out here again. But you can't tell anyway because I have that gone over it. So with this little, is it this? Yeah. So with this little thing here, I've essentially just added. It's just the same as here, boys and girls. Um, it's just a little bit of rotation is all I've done to it, as you can probably see here. Just add some keyframes, and then. If you don't know how to use keyframes, watch the pre previous video. That says how. And then add a drop shadow to it, which I've already showed you boys the effect. And girls, I keep it, sorry. Which is just this. Uh, and these are the settings for it. If you didn't know it. Sorry. These are the drop shadow settings that you want. Here we go. As we can see. Then I've just done slide down as the blur has came in. And then slide to the left whilst this other thing has came in. But then I've put this other image below it. So look, you can see it's kind of over it here. So that's what I've give done. them context throughout the story. And then this Kylie Jenner sound effect. Is that a chicken? Because, yeah, why not? And give them context. Maybe it's a little bit too loud. I should probably turn it down a little bit. Like 17. Throughout the story. And then I've done this little light leak with this little camera sound. Which is in the resource pack in the description. The hook is the free. The most important part to catch. So that is how I've done these two things so far. So, so far, this is what it looks like. Do not storytell in your videos in a linear way. Instead, use the Tarantino method of storytelling. This is when you give the most entertaining part in the beginning and give them context throughout the story. Since the Boy, if you want something happening, and girls, bro, I'm so sorry, guys. You want, you want something happening like every like three seconds maximum, if you can, two seconds. But yeah, you want something going on all the time because that's what really like 
like certifies the Devin Jaffo style, I guess you could say. And I am saying, yeah, I don't know what I was going to say there, but yes. All right, so boys and girls, I've done the next bit. <laughs> so the last bit we did with this bit. And now I've, I've kind of added two things, but this I didn't really count. I didn't really record just doing this. So this is just, uh, this is his face with a fishing rod on a hand. I made it in Pixlr. It's from an old video that I did quite a while back. So I've just literally just... This the hook is the most, slide right. most important part to catch someone's attention. You want to and slide down. That's all I've done. Nothing, absolute nothing special. All this is here. Oh, sorry. All this is. Oh, sorry. This line here is just text. Ignore that. That's just text. Here's the actual image. All it is is just slide right, which is in the resource pack. All this is in the pack. Uh, a little bit of tilting, and then slide down with a overlay light leak, which is in the pack. That's all it is. So that's what I've done there. Since the hook is the most important part to catch someone's attention, you want to put the most entertaining part in the beginning to catch everyone's eyeballs. And so then that bit there. So I've done another little light leak. This is a different one compared to this one. This is like a longer one. This is a quick one with a little sound effect, like a shutter sound effect. You want to, which is in the, which is in the folder. And then this here, I believe, is text. Yeah, this is just text. Ignore this line. So this top line here is just text. I'm um, actually, oh, should not have done that. So this is just text, and then. So we see this screenshot with a red, like a little laser thing, I guess you could say. I use, this is a little laser sound effect. Most entertaining part Because I feel like that's just the most suitable for what it is. So what I've done is I've got a red block off Google and I put the transparency to 40%. I've cropped it so it fits this without like doing any like effects before. And then what I've done is I've used keyframes. I can show you. So then, oh, bloody hell. So what I've done is I have used, look, solid red. See, it's just, it's just a picture of Google. Uh, I've used keyframes to move it. So first I put it to these settings, which fit this. And then I just put a keyframe to show the start of the video, because that's what the person who's talking is referencing. So that's what I've done there. So all it is is this. And I've added a little laser sound effect when what it does the most it. Entertaining and then after, after I've done that, I've nested it together. So I got two. So I got these two and I nested it together. Then after that, I just did a little uh, scale up three, which is in the pack, just to add this little effect to it. Uh, I put the most and then added some movement to it. That's literally, it, it, boys and girls, it's not that hard. It takes, if you if you can't sit here for an hour and a half, two hours editing a video, I, I don't know how you're gonna succeed in anything to be honest. Like, of course it's gonna take longer the earlier you are into doing it. Like the, the more you do it, the quicker you're gonna be at it. When I first started doing these, it took me about four, three hours to even start this. And that was, a month ago, two months ago, like I haven't been editing for long. I I, I wanted to start an SMMA, I guess you could say, which I kind of turned into a short form agency, which I guess you could kind of say is some is a SMMA, kind of. Uh, but yeah, boys and girls, boys and girls. Uh, yeah, I haven't been doing it for long either. Do I'm you just, want to put the I'm just. Uh, this is just what I know so far. I haven't. W I've watched one video, which I will link in the description actually, which helped me learn the basics of an Alex Hamozi type video. I want to put the most entertaining part in the beginning to catch. Then here I've done slide left, which is in the pack. Then here I've got an ice spice cut out, which I cut out on Google, on Pixlr, because uh, for some reason there's no face shots of just her. To catch everyone's eye. Uh, I've added some drop shadow, which I've already showed you the settings for. If you if you can't see him, go back in the video. It'll be there somewhere. It's only a six minute video. Uh, I've done slide left. And before I've done that, what I've done is I've added some eyes over the top of them. And in them eyes, I've got I've just got this normal one, like apple like eye emoji. So I've I've just cut it out. But then the one these two, I've just put flip horizontal, and I've just put them on it. As you can see, flip horizontal. That's all I've done. So it goes like this. So then I threw that over the ice spice cutout, ice spice face cutout. So look, it just looks like that, not moving or anything. And then I have before I trim this, it looked like this. And then uh, I added some movement to it using keyframes. Catch everyone's eyeball. And then I cut it here and did slide left. So it looks like it goes like doo doo. I think that makes sense. To catch everyone's eye. And I've added a swoosh, like a, not like, not like a, not like a whip noise. Like they don't sound nice. Like a heavy swoosh, which is also in the resource pack. To catch everyone's eyeballs. And, and then I've done glitch out here with a glitch sound effect, which is also in the resource pack. So yeah, I'm going to do the, uh, the next one now. Just got a few to do here then i will show you all right boys and girls hello again this is the next bit i've just done literally maybe five minutes afterwards this is super 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 easy 
If you look at other viral content creators, talks about viral content creators. I pop up two viral content creators, Devin Jaffo and Law by Mike. Law by Mike's that guy who talks about law. Other All I've done is get the Devin Jaffo ones, this bottom one here. Uh, this is just the finish, but this is here. I've added some rotation. I'll show you. Look, just some rotation and just bouncing up and down. So it just looks like that. Uh, and then I have also um, ditchy done the same with the other one, but just put it up here. Added some drop shadow, which you guys should already have the settings for. Then at the end, but I did, sorry, for Devin Jaffa, I did slide up. And the other one I did slide left, which is in the resource pack. This bit I did slide down, so everything's there. Uh, and I added a little sound effect. You'll see that they blew up using this method. So yeah, that's that's all that is. If you look at Literally other viral all content that creators. Is. So yeah, now using this method. Follow me. All I have to do is the outro, which I have to actually do on my other computer because I have it saved there. Uh, and yeah. So boys and girls, complete. The video is done. This is what the video is going to look like. Your timeline is going to look like a bit messy. I've just added this at the end. I'm going to show you what it is in a sec. I'm going to quickly play it through the first. Do not storytell in your videos in a linear way. Instead, use the Tarantino method of storytelling. This is when you give the most entertaining part in the beginning and give them context throughout the story. Since the hook is the most important part to catch someone's attention, you want to put the most entertaining part in the beginning to catch everyone's eyeballs and then go on with the information. If you look at other viral content creators, you will see that they blew up using this method. Follow me for more social media strategy. Okay, Do so it's finished. Besides at the end, I'm going to add his like follow button, but I'm not, I'm not trying to show you who it is. Although I've probably missed the spot where I've tried to blur it out and just showing you completely who it is. But yeah, boys, I'm going to be honest, you can't, if you can't sit there for an hour, hour and a half, two, maybe even two hours at the start, maybe even three hours at the start when you're trying to learn this sort of style. I don't know how, I don't know what to say to you. Like, nothing's, it's not going to be easy at the start. Of course, it's not going to be easy. Over time, it's going to get easier. Uh, yeah, I mean, everything that I use in this video is in the, uh, it's in the description below. So yeah, I think what we noticed as well is a lot of, yeah, boys, what do we notice about like this sort of style? A lot of it is like customized, like his face on the book, his face as, I'm not even sure what that is. Uh, what else? This, customized, that's my screenshot I just took at the start of this video. Customized, customized, my dog's barking. Customized, my screenshot, customized. I, I had to find it and cut it out, cut her head out with some eyes. Hold on, my door's locked. Give me a minute. Sorry, guys. I'm back. Someone came around to deliver some logs to someone. Uh, anyway, what was I talking about? So anyway, yeah, customized. This is customized. Customized. I'm out of breath. Actually, this is not customized. They're viral content creators. You'll see that they customized. I just made this in Pixlr, by the way. Look, Pixlr. If you guys don't know how to use Pixlr, get to learn to know it. It's so good. Mate, see here. I'm really out of breath. Jesus. I even made this thumbnail here. This. This. Like, Pixlr is... You want to be using Pixlr for this Devin Jaffa, like, style. But anyway, boys, I think that's everything. So, boys and girls, this is in the description. This is everything that I used in this video, including a bunch more stuff. If you want it, go in the description. It's just there. That's how we do the Devin Jaffa type style. But, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the description. In the description you don't comment in the description you comment in the comment section or message me on instagram instagram's in the description as well so yeah boys i hope that was useful